Hey everybody, welcome back to Learning with Lloyd. I uh, just wanted to uh, make a quick video. Um, had some questions on a tweet from Marvin the other day, and I just wanted to clear up uh, any confusion that there may be and kind of highlight what's going on with that particular tweet. So uh, let's go ahead and pop on over to the tweet in question. Um, so here we have uh, Marvin, he says, uh, last week heavy change is coming to Verge, and what we're looking at here is a new mining reward schedule. Um, what that means is uh, we're, we're actually going to uh, change up a little bit uh, how we pay out the remaining coins. As you know, um, or many of you may know, our uh, maximum coin supply is uh, 16.5 billion um, and as you can see right here um, we're sitting at about 15.9 billion um, coins mined at this point so there's not a lot of supply left so there was some debate over this decision making this decision um, a while back about what would be best to do um, you know, some people who don't really understand the economics of the situation, um, they um, they tend to think, oh, well, Verge is going to run out of coins. It's going to be great because there's not going to be any new coins dumped onto the market for mining, and that'll that'll be great for the price. Nah, it might be good for the price for a few minutes, but the problem is. Miners mine because they want to make money. Uh, they are either mining coins um, that is profitable at the time, or they are um, speculatively mining coins that they think are going to be worth something in the future. The problem is, uh, and let's switch over here to... This is the uh, commit uh, that actually highlights it. So that was the original end of our distribution schedule for Verge um, at block uh, 4,248,000 that would have been it um, and that date if we make no changes at this point in time that date would be sometime in May of 2020 May of next year um, all the coins would be exhausted the problem with that uh, with thinking, let's just let it, um, you know, exhaust the supply and see what happens. The problem is, going back to the miners, uh, they're not going to contribute hash power for free. At the end of that, miners will make nothing but transaction fees. So if they go uh, from making 730 coins per block um, in May of 2020 to making one or two coins maximum, sometimes zero coins if the block is empty, um, they're going to go away. They're simply going to take their hash power and they're going to mine something else that they can that's more profitable or they can make more money off of. So that could, um, um, you know, the chain, uh, we could have all kinds of problems. Um, there's a long list of things that could happen if that were the case, if most of our miners left. Um, and it's not a situation, um, you know, miners on a proof of work coin actually secure the network um, by um, making it difficult to attack. So that could be another problem that we would run into. So what Marvin's tweet meant is uh, sometime around mid-December of this year, we're actually going to fork to a new version. That version is going to be six in the back end. Uh, we're going to fork... Uh, fork the coin and it's not going to be the kind of fork where you get two coins we're just going to abandon the old chain um, and keep going with the new one but when that fork happens um, what we're going to get is a new halving schedule that's going to extend us out for a few more years so we can make some better decisions as to what we're going to do if we're going to change to some other method or continue with proof of work but it gives us plenty of time uh, to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, so mid-December we're going to be, uh, not only are we going to be looking at a fork, but at block uh, 3,700,000 um, we're going to have a halving um, and the uh, mining, the block reward for mining is going to drop from 730 coins 
to 400 coins. Um, and you can see that here being highlighted and then that just continues down having, having, having uh, for several more years. Um, so it gives us plenty of time to make decisions, um, see what we're going to do, figure everything out. Um, but the big news is a fork is coming and a halving is coming in, uh, in December as well. And just to go over some of the numbers, um, for those of you may, who may be interested, at 30 second blocks, um, there are approximately 2,880 blocks mined per day on the Verge network. Um, at the current mining reward of 730 coins per block mined, um, we are distributing approximately 2,102,000 coins per new coins per day uh, that are being mined. After the halving, uh, coming in mid-December at this point, we'll be looking at 1,152,000 new coins mined per day. So that's it. Um, you know, nothing too difficult or too outlandish, uh, just some changes that we needed to make uh, to uh, make sure Verge stays healthy and uh, everyone stays happy and miners keep making money and securing the network for us and running the network for us. And uh, that's it, guys. So if you have any questions, um, just let us know. Reach out to us on Discord or Telegram or uh, comment in the, uh, in the section below here on YouTube. Thank you. Uh, you all have a good day.